up. Let me know if that somehow resolved the problem. You play Nightbot in his Mac. No, the stream's coming back up. I just killed it because it was uh, giving static, and apparently it still is. So I'll adjust. Uh, I'll adjust something else. Is it static or echo? See if that helped. Just made a pretty big change. Okay, no echo. What about static now? I'll go on it. Alright, well I'm just going to unplug the whole uh, whole thing and see what happens. You may get some crazy feedback right here. Let's see if I uh, unplug it and replug it, if it'll work out. Alright, maybe that helped out. Any chance that it's uh, all right there we go perfect I don't know what was going on I did have the laptop moving around the house last night when I was streaming so it caused a few issues but basically uh, what I'd gotten at at the beginning of the other stream that I ended up having to kill and restart trying to think that would fix it is that uh, one hive 2.0 has been going for their number 200 and they've done a phenomenal job at this point um, they've pretty much cleared every base except for one Town Hall 10. Um, King Aaron, they have yet to touch him. They only have one Town Hall 10 remaining attacker. And the number 10. So I'm assuming that he's going to hit both of those. Uh, if successful, I think if he gets that uh, that 10 two-star. And then they clear the remaining bases they've got that are not three-star. I, I think the win's in the bag. Um, but if they happen to leave something available, we've still got a chance here. We're not as bad off as we look, even though we've dramatically failed to produce results like we did last time in our war against Morning Sword. Uh, we ran about 50% three stars through the first half of that war, and unfortunately, this time we have not done so. Um, had a late Town Hall 10 one star on their number four, and then our nines just didn't come to uh, didn't come to the ball game this time. We've dropped a lot of tens to try to help clean up that we weren't expecting to have to. Uh, but this is not the same team that we uh, went to battle with Morning Sword with because we did these weights in under 20 hours. We had to just pretty well snag anybody that we could to make this thing happen. I just missed a live. And so uh, basically we just snagged who we could, put them in place for weights. So, you know, we've, we've made a bit of a, uh, a tough showing for ourselves. It's hard on the soul, I guess you'd call it. But, uh, you know, we're doing what we can to combat it and uh at least make it nice and close here at the end make them sweat a little bit and see if we've got a chance to win this make sure that they at least have to execute properly and flawlessly to uh to assure their win we're not just going to give it to them uh score against morning sword was 97 to 95. Alright, so this is our number one dropping down uh, on Diesel there, number 10. One of those bully attacks that I just mentioned that we're having to make to uh, to cover some things. Hopefully he has no issues clearing the base for us. Queen's still alive there in the center. Golem's still alive. Do have a mortar uh, and a wizard. I'm sorry, an archer tower locked onto the queen. But she's getting, uh, getting a little motion now, so uh, in come the loons. Hopefully this will be able to clear out the remainder of the base. The hounds are picking up traps with no issues. He did not get all the air defenses down that he wanted to before he started having to release loons. So he's having to place them a little bit different than he had planned initially. But he does have enough hounds to make it across the base. Uh, we won against uh, Morning Sword. And thanks for tuning in for Kara Heroes. Much respect to you guys, and I uh, have to say that I've got a lot of love for Fant, Minpin, and some of the others over there. All 
All right, so we're raging through the last couple of anti-air uh, defenses. And uh, right here, looks like there's a minute remaining. I held back a loon because it wasn't necessary. It's going to be part of cleanup. I think they've got all the south cleared, so it's just a matter of wherever you place things to, to get it across the base. Thank you very much, Sash. Sash. Appreciate that, Mr. Black. All right, so we've uh, we've now cleared another base, added three more stars to it. <laughs> hey, KNX, and uh, you know what, dude? I actually said there were only two people, and this is no disrespect to anybody else over there. I said there were two people that I really hoped didn't get to hit my base, and you were one of the two. I'm not going to say who the other one is because I don't hurt anybody's feelings, but... There were some very close calls, and for a base with level one infernos to defend three, if was it three or four times before it was finally taken down, I'll take that. I mean, it <laughs> it was a huge help. So you hit it, you hundred percent. Mav had ninety six percent on it. Don Leon had ninety eight percent on it. Tater had seventy percent on it, and the plow did not touch it. So. You know, it, all I can say is uh, thanks for the apology, but, you know, sure, I cried a little bit when it happened, but realistically, the base did exactly what it needed to do for, you know, to be hit so many times. Um, I was hoping to have the stream up earlier and should have been able to catch it on, but I'm sitting here, we're going through things, and of course, this morning, we're doing a ton of planning. We're trying to figure things out. Um, you know, we had some borrowed players this time, so they're helping out also. Um, because we kind of rushed to put this thing together. We didn't have everybody we needed, so we tapped into our friends at the FPC and borrowed some people, and, you know, they've t stepped up, tried to help out as much as they can as well. And uh, all things being said, on top of everything else, and us trying to scramble in our failed, you know, cleanup attempts and everything else, my power goes out. So I'm about two, two and a half hours behind of what I was planning to stream. I'm from Alabama. All right, see if I can get these numbers updated before somebody else attacks. That way everybody's on the same page. And I probably need to send out a tweet so everybody knows that we are online together sharing what is either a phenomenal comeback from Cold September or a 200th win for One Hive 2.0. And out of respect, we're going to celebrate that with them one way or the other because there's nothing but love between Cold September and the One Hive family. We always just ask for competitive wars with other clans like us, and that's exactly what we've gotten. They've just been the better clan at this uh, at this particular time in this in this war. Uh, I will, as long as somebody from One Hive can confirm before um, they have an attacker going in. I'm trying to get into my group me right now to see if uh, anybody's going in on our side very soon, and uh, we'll go from there. getting called up right here so everybody hang tight hey AJ um, been a rough morning for us uh, but you know recovering no matter what it's it is, it is what it is so uh, you know team together with my team and uh, now that the power's back on I've got some air conditioning and able to stream
do you guys do 24 hour war streams when you stream no not always i um i go as long as i can and then um i you know i usually catch some rest in between and then pick back up in the morning or at least the final six hours depending on the war so i was planning on getting up this morning and doing a ton of it we were pretty far behind so uh spent some time with the team trying to at least game plan on what we're going to do to at least make it close in the end make them slow it a little bit and see if we had a chance to win if they didn't execute and then uh about the time i got ready to stream the power went out so uh spent the, that additional time uh on group me with the the clan and here we are now I will get some up very quickly. I'm holding out for live and I'm still working out. So just hang tight with me and uh, let me get a couple of messages picked up, uh, responded to, because obviously this is an intense time for us. The last, final three hours of a war when we have 13 attacks remaining and a chance to get very, very close to their score, if not beat them. So um, it's going to take perfect execution. So it's just a matter of me ensuring that my team's got what they need from me. Um, you know, of course, the stream's important. I want to share the uh, the love for the One High family during this time, uh, but at the same time, uh, I've still got to take care of home first. A lot. Hang on a second, we'll get a count. Thank you very much, Apex. Um, right now, it's in one house favor. It's just a matter of uh, what can happen here at the end. They've got to execute flawlessly to assure the win. The win. And if they don't, and we do, then there's a chance for us to have a comeback. But right now, the cards are uh, definitely in their hand. Yeah, they're still tearing it up for now.
almost caught up on group me. All right, so I think I'm called up. Uh, who, Canx, you still on? Oh, I just caught static in my headset. It, yeah, it's still been an awesome war. I just wish that we would have uh, been able to hold it tight. I mean, everybody. I mean, let's let's face it. We we face some big name clans, but there's always that that halo above one hive. And so, you know, when you you battle a one hive clan, you immediately have people who have followed them from way way early on, and immediately just kind of get skittish. They're like, oh, you know, let's do it, let's do it. And then when they get there, they're like, oh crap, we're here, you know. And not having your core team that is is used to facing this this type of clan because we did this in range so quickly you know some of them wanted it but then when they got there they realized that that initial nerves that some others had gotten over in the past already so um you know that, that always plays a factor it, it's you know i'm not going to make an excuse there shouldn't uh, we as cold september as a family of all three of our clans uh should be able to execute and we haven't so you know they have and the bottom line is is they've deserved every portion of where they stand right now in this war and where they stand in the world's eye. So, you know, much respect from that side. Uh, KNX, could you, I'm gonna play some replays as we go, um, as we're kind of in stall time, but could you do me the favor of letting me know if you if a one hive person's about to go in? I wanna ensure that I don't miss them, but I also don't want everybody just staring at a map here. So if you can let me know in advance, then I'll go through replays so whoever else tunes in can check it out. Perfect. Thank you very much. And out of respect for what Canax just did, I'm going to show you the replay where he just uh, rampaged over my base. Now, of course, it was uh, it held its own for quite a long time, uh, which I'm very proud of. But overall, he did take it. Hey, clickety clack, welcome back. So they tweaked and tweaked and tweaked this attack, and uh, KNX just decides to come in and just bully me. Uh, just, just absolutely rampage it. So it flawlessly executes on this attack. So you've got a Laloon coming in on this thing, and uh, I'm just gonna let it play through. I mean, I it, the attack speaks for itself. It doesn't need commentary. Thank you very much. Clickety clack. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't hold off the the last couple of guys like I was hoping for it to. Kanex had to come in and and shut me down. Much respect for this attack. Comes in with the haste. Uh, loons, hounds rushing across the base um absolutely beautiful did pick up all the air mines i think that was something that each attack would grab a different one and they they just didn't realize where they were stacked for quite a long time and so uh you know finally by the last attack they they found them all and knew how to armor up for them yeah it was it was i mean calculated can't say max heroes though i'm a town hall 10 so you know he he did what he uh needed to uh yeah the hounds didn't pop I, we thought it was going to cost you time I, I can't tell you but this happened right after my power had went off went out here 
and uh, I, I, they were like on group me. They were like, Shaggy's under attack. Shaggy's under attack. So I'm immediately jumping out of group me, trying to jump onto my phone because it's the only thing that had web access. So I'm rushing. They're like, no, 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 fail, fail, fail. Time, time, time. Hounds didn't pop. And I, I'm cheering. I, it's crazy. I can't even see the thing at this point. And then they were like, nope, never mind. Loon split. He's in trouble. I was like, well, shit. <laughs> what can you do? You know? They had my hopes up, though, because uh, I, I got in there and all I could see was, uh, you know, what was happening, but I, I couldn't see it live. Uh, 32 is my, my queen. KNX also took out this base, so let's just go through them while we're waiting. Yeah, wasn't strong enough. Oh, I didn't even realize I was zoomed in like that. I'm sorry. I was trying to get the word of live out. So on both sides, um, both teams ensured that they had uh, the tens cleared well enough to where they could pull attacks down and help out the nines. Um, from our side, we, we actually had a ten advantage um, after the top was cleared. I say that we still have one that's not cleared, um, but we had more opportunities to clear those bases. Uh, where it got unfortunate is that our nines just didn't do enough. They didn't perform up to the, the standard that they wanted to. And that caused uh, caused us, you know, to be a, a bit behind. And uh, we actually had, I think it was two Town Hall 10s that didn't do what they wanted to at the top. So it, it, it kind of leveled itself out. So X um, had a 43% uh, fill. And then Fatty, wherever he's at, had a 60% one star. And then uh, when we look at the other side, they had uh, one one star, two one stars, three, four, five, five one stars from the ten. So we actually came out to uh, to the better at the top, which is something that, as a standard, Cold September um, it has going very, very, very well for it. Our ten attackers are usually very, very good, and a lot of us came up together as... Uh, as eights and nines and uh have just grown and and pushed each other to to be better and better war in and war out <clears throat> so that being said you know we know how to mesh we know how to bond we know you know who can complement who where and so it worked out great um to our advantage in a lot of wars uh on the same note some of the nines came up with this also they just haven't made the transition yet so uh ultimately you know uh, we always stand strong up there and we're able to help out if necessary it's just not as common for us to have to do that much helping all right we're still adjusting bases based off of what other people are seeing all right let's uh what side are we on let's show a three star that's a bully attack. Let's go on down. That's a bully attack. That was last night. PB and J had one on number 12 here. I believe it's killing craze that he went after. Why does it keep zooming in?
this is something that we're seeing more and more of. Uh, basically, a, um, you've got a kill squad going on on one side, and you're actually using uh, dragons to come in and get the queen kill. And then you'll bring hogs in uh, from an alternate section of the base in a surgical manner. Just to get it cleared out, that SPB, the Aussie. Uh, and then uh, basically the queen walks around cleaning up trash as long as she can until she passes and uh, Dragons do the exact same hogs come in where needed from the back side And just pick up the pieces Looks like you saved a giant didn't have a reason to use it And so he'll save it and use it for cleanup when the time comes Or I take that back he decided to use it for the dragon. I'm sorry the cannon and the Tesla <clears throat> and this was nothing to clean up from here. Hold on a minute, we're gonna fix this. Uh, no idea, AJ. Uh, this is a new strat as it is, so I can't, I don't know. I'm not a dragon guy, I've never been a dragon guy. Uh, as a matter of fact, I absolutely hated air until the end of Town Hall 9, so um, I don't know. I guess it would depend on the level of the queen and what high HP buildings are in the way. Um, it might work. It's so fresh to us at this point that I, I can't properly answer it, I think. There's a lot of the strategies at this point that you know we even do inside of our clan that I, I can't be an expert at. I mean, it's, there's just too much going on and I, I don't think anybody expects me to. You know, we have two or three people, or four or five people, depending on the strategy or the, the attack style, that'll spa uh, specialize. And that group is like a, a subgroup within the clan where they, you know, they help each other, they plan, they talk about what they're doing and how to execute around it. And, um, you know, as long as it works and they complement each other, there's no need for me to get into that style because it doesn't suit the town hall or um, uh, the attacks that, that I get into. Thank you, Fizzle Diz, um, or Fizzy Diz. We, um, I don't know, I I agree. I absolutely agree, and I think on our best day, we hang with these guys. Uh, I don't think that this war was our best day. No disrespect to our, our team and guys. I mean, you know, like I said earlier, some of them are just not used to hitting these you know, high name clans. And when you, you've got a clan on a pedestal or a clan family on a pedestal, um, you know, it's hard to break that stigma if it's your first time battling with that sort of clan. Hey, Bex. <clears throat> hey, Manny. All right, thanks, KNX. Come on, get out. All right, we're in on Scar. Let's see what Scar's doing. I believe he's just trying to clean up their number 30. We've had some trouble doing so. He's in Bex, thank you. He's going at it a bit differently than the others had planned. This one had uh, three Valks in the CC. Not really common. Uh, the problem that we have is we've had a couple of people hit it with um, Hogs that weren't necessarily hog attackers because it was so close to an attack um, that Castles did. He had a 98% on the base and so it was trying to be replicated and instead of people just doing 
what they do best. So, you know, when you get an attack that close, you want to mirror it and uh, just do a little tweak here and there to make it work perfectly. And it's not always the best thing if it's the wrong person doing it. So I'm not so sure that that was supposed to go the way that it did. Alright, well this one's a fail, so uh, let's get in on Aaron. No disrespect to Scar, but well, I thought he was in now. I just got out of for nothing. Yeah, that was a total bot blunder. Oh, he is in and I missed it because it didn't pop up the arrow. That has been ongoing since this last update. I'm not getting the arrow to get to the raid, so I absolutely missed not only one, but two raids because I got out of one that I felt like was a fail. Mm. So this is a bully attack. Shouldn't be an issue to get it cleaned up, but, you know, we had a bully attack earlier that did not uh, come out successful. So here we are staring at some swords, slapping above a base. Our number two hitting 15, and uh, I'm not really sure what's happening I'm assuming that we're doing well yeah trying to hide out of the spotlight are you in on that one okay so Bex is in on on air and and I'm sure that scars was a uh, you yeah, know it was a zero star fail that haste multiple drop that he did pretty well ruined it right on the spot so that's probably wrapped it up for us um we've got 12 attacks left i don't think we'll be able to pull the stars needed unless they just fell at everything yeah many um our guys were just holding back holding back holding back I don't know what's going on with them. Maybe they're just going to do some grand finale raids or something. But we uh, we definitely haven't done our part to uh, be successful uh, overall. It's tough, but everybody has a bad war. I mean, it, you know, it, it wouldn't have mattered if it had been a farming clan. I think this war with the group that was in this time would have, you know, <laughs> made it look ugly. Yes, it did, um, if you, it took me a bit, uh, power finally came back on and, and got online. Had to get the team settled in. Uh, I don't know who you're talking to, really. If it's, uh, if it's me, then you'd have to apply through the website, which is listed right there. So usually for uh, Town Hall 10s to drop down on 9s, it's, uh, it's almost impossible. I won't say that it's impossible. I'm going to say it's almost impossible to fail if um, if you're using air. The extra camp space and uh, spell space makes a huge difference. And then if you have big heroes, it actually does even more of that. So uh, he came in with a La Loon, cleaned up the base, and uh, put us a little bit closer. If you're not real familiar with the haste spell or you haven't gotten accustomed to using it I can say blatantly that uh, it's much more important for a town hall 10 than it is uh, any other town hall at this point which you know obviously 9 or 10 it's uh, it's a very useful attack style or a uh, spell it, you just have to know when to place it and when to use a, a rage instead so if you've got defenses that are clumped or they're high uh, HP where they do just a ton of damage, it's usually better for a rage. But if it's something that's uh, targeting somewhere else, or um, if you get on it quick, it's not going to leave you with a lot of damage, then that's the way to uh, to go there with haste. Mm. 
We have three clans in our family, uh, Fizzle, and it, it just depends on what the progress is in the game before, uh, uh, before I can answer that. War Stars play a huge role in Cold September's um, recruiting for the main clan, but Cold Sept and Cold Sept Evo have a little more leniency. Good luck with it, Manny. Very nice, F you. All right, we may have somebody going in here in just a second. I'm trying to double check. All right, PB and J's got them there in chat, so that's not an issue. Why did your kill squad dial out? You, I mean, I. I didn't fully uh, catch the very beginning, but uh, do you want to watch it on screen, Scar? Do you want to uh, catch that one in game? Maybe a better offline talk. Let's see, oh. Hey, clickety clack, just to let you know, Gil was revenging you for uh, dishing off a three star to her. Let's play her a little tribute right here for being awesome. Uh, she's actually from North Remembers family and came in to help us with this war because we were rushing to match weights. Um, and with that being said, uh, we, we gathered anyone we could and we had a couple of leaders jump up and say, hey, let's do it. <laughs> so, uh, she was one of them that was not war tied and jumped right in. And uh, after I, I guess she got three star by clickety clack, she decided that she was going in for him just the same. Oh, Austin is in, so let's hop out of this. I'm trying to keep up on the iPad too. That way I don't miss one. Alright, so it looks like Austin's coming in with hogs. Shattered Goho. Which is to support. King coming in late. Hopefully he'll make it all the way over to the Queen and uh, help take out those Valks on the way. Alright, King's over. He's gonna take care of the uh, enemy Queen. He's bringing in the Hawks with a two-finger drop, hoping they're going to run the ring around the base. So he uh, he put all the cards on the table, I'm sure, because everything's a cleanup attack just about at this point that our nines are hitting. it's uh, They're going to run around the base here and hopefully keep safe along the way. <laughs> well, one, it's... Uh, kind of true and if you think that having your base review during a cold september one hive 2.0 fpc arranged war when one hive 2.0 is one from world win number 200 and uh we're we're putting up the fight that we can at this point try to salvage what we've done wrong then uh you're probably lost already and uh, i want to give a shout out to mr black for ensuring that that nightbot command was in place So Austin's come in, he's delivered a three star attack. Uh, so that cleans up number 25. Hey Mr. Black, there is a different one if you're still on, because I still don't know how to do that and haven't paid it any mind. That's uh, BR. I want that one changed to be the same. If that's at all possible, if, if you feel friendly enough to make that happen for me. Yeah, Austin's overdue, so I'm happy to see uh, Happy to see him throw one down for the team right there. So we're at 50 attacks. They're at 53. They still have a pretty dramatic lead. And uh, let me get the three-star count updated. We're finally getting into double digits. Okay, so that's a positive. Yeah, I'm still not doing a, a, a base review. I mean, let's just play that one out. The clan. This is cold September. The 
That's one hive 2.0. Alright, we've got another attack going in here in just one moment. Slide up here to where it's going to be. There it is. Good old hood rat. Hopefully fixed about to go down. I know you don't Apex. I was just making a joke. In case the other one saw it and randomly decided they wanted one. Alright, I know it's showing a bunch of uh, <clears throat> question marks on the screen. The thing I streamed through is Android. And it's uh, probably an older version of it at this point. Uh, but it's actually Cause. Uh, it's the second account of Van, uh, it's Vanaris, I believe is the actual name, uh, from Emphatic Elite. He's a leader there. He was another one of these great leaders that stepped up and said that they were willing to help out just to, to ensure that One Hive 2.0 had a good war um, for their potential number 200. So uh, he jumped over and he's also been phenomenal uh, to help talk strategy and, you know, kind of purpose of... Uh, what they do and to help try to get the team back on track because